Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your continued patience and encouragement uh, with me over the next seven to ten days as I will now have zero webcam usage as my brain and face look more like Frankenstein than anyone that you would want to look at. And there are a lot of people out there that even when I'm quote unquote normal and healthy still do not want to look at me at all. So this might be the uh who, who knows, maybe I'll get a tick up in views, and I'll realize that the best thing I can do is just not show my face again. Um, I realized this week, actually while I was in Kansas City out of town, that uh, as I was going through my surgical procedure, because in, there were parts of the surgery where I could, as long as I kept my, my body steady and my face steady, I could look at my phone. And I realized, well, what do you know? I have more energy refills now than I ever have at this point. And yes, a few of them are from Arena Crystals, but most of them are from a combination of the new Peak Milestones Summoner Advancement type of event once a week. But this specific side quest gives you an energy refill every single exploration of every single threat level. At least I think it does. Um... And that's fantastic, because we have more content than ever before to explore. And also, months like this are a little bit longer. By the way, threat level 3 between the 2006 star shards and the 5 star shards and uh, even, you know, relic crystal shards, which I try to be fair about, even though I'm never going to be a relic guy. But I try to save the first two, specifically the first one, for hero use, because it's only one energy per tile. So I will wait to explore those easy difficulties when I can get some hero use points. And also keep in mind of hero use, uh, I was able to get more points than usual, even though I still didn't finish as high as I thought I would. 2.6 million points because, uh, I didn't do a video on this, but I figured I would mention this in this video. We now have 7 star uh, arena points that are 500 more than 6 stars. And I think most importantly, you can get a 3750 point increase now for seven star duels. So you can do five of the easiest duels of all time and get over 15,000 uh, duel points. And then the most obvious seven star champion in event quest or story quest, which if you're me and you need some cheap arena points, just go to Rebel Legends chapter one with a team of all seven stars. This is especially a good idea if there's a like a mutant combat or mystic combat, some kind of combat seminar event going on at the same time, and use those to your advantage as well. Um, so, as somebody who is always preaching to explore all event quest content, because even if it's the easiest couple, and even if you don't care about Marvel Insider Rewards, it's still worth noting that you get free units. They may not be a lot of units, but they're still free units, and every free unit counts. Every free unit matters. So... Kabam, I appreciate that you have made it a goal to get more full energy refills for free into the hands of players. I think that is something that all of us should be thankful for and should celebrate. One of my only requests is I build back up my arena crystals, and I still have way more. I usually try to keep 4,000 regular arena crystals, and I've got just over 5,000 in my stash right now. As you can see right here, 5,150. But... For the love of this game, how is it that full energy refills are still 0.35%? I'm not saying you have to make it 5%. I think a 1% drop rate would, should be fair. I think if you open 100 crystals, you should get one energy refill. Like, it's, it's nuts to me how crazy rare energy refills are. And yes, it's the equivalent of opening 30 units, but still, kabam... I don't think you'd break the economy if you were a little bit more generous in those full energy refill uh, drop rates. I think they just have refused to want to touch those to make the economy of the game better in terms of uh, pro player adding more energy into people's hands. With that being said, it's a longer than normal event quest. Sometimes event quests are like 27, 28 days. This one was well over 30 days. And so that gives us even more incentive to explore every chapter. And I just want to remind everybody watching this that the best thing you can do for event quest completion is save the uncollected cavalier and especially throne breaker for 
those days. I have fully explored Thronebreaker, Cavalier, I'm working toward, and then Uncollected is sort of something I do just for fun in the background. So, Kabam, thank you for the energy refills and the way that you have made them way better in the game. It is not something that we should take for granted because we have not seen this for the majority of the game. And I um, I wanted to be the first to say thank you, Kabam. This is awesome.